Yes, you can wash down and feather pillows. That's a dirty pillow. It's no, it's lost its loft. It doesn't like fluff up. It's yellowing a little bit. Stain on it. So, we're going to wash this. First thing, take it out of the pillow protector. No. Make sure there's no clumps in it before you uh, put it in the washing machine. So loosen it up and then we're ready to put it in the washing machine. Set the machine to warm. You want to use your largest cycle. You want plenty of water in here. We're going to do this on our permanent press cycle. Add your detergent. I'm going to stop this so that you can hear me. You want to use a detergent that has no fillers. You can use a liquid soap. Uh, they do make special soaps for gentle products uh, for use on feathers and down. But if you have a, a good quality uh, detergent, powder detergent that has no fillers in it, That'll work just fine. Put your pillow in. Notice how I'm going vertically with the pillow. If you just do it by hand a little bit to get it soaked. Let the water get into your pillow, squeeze some of the air out, you want to get it down there into the water. This is kind of important with a top loader because without doing this, the pillow will just float around on the top and it won't get agitated in the wash. Now I'm going to put the pillow uh, protector in with it on the opposite side from the pillow and then I'm also going to wash this towel because when this goes into the spin cycle you want something in the drum to counter the weight of the pillow otherwise your washing machine can like wiggle quite a bit and dance around so we've got something in here to uh, balance the spin cycle and that's it we're ready to go After a couple of minutes, stop the machine, open it up, and squeeze the air out of the pillow. See that? Because otherwise it's just floating around on top, and it's not getting the uh, water and the detergent through the pillow. See how that pillow is finally sunk down in there? That's why you have to squeeze the air out of it. And look at that water. Ooh, it's all yellow. So uh, there's something coming out of that. Now check this out. Let me shut this off a second. We're getting into the rinse phase. And it's worth taking a look inside the drum. Uh, let's see if I can hold this over. See, this is the pillow on this side. The, there's the um, pillow cover and the towel I put in opposite each other in the drum. You want to make sure you're set up that way when you get into the rinse and spin cycles so that your drum is balanced as this thing spins. Okay, once your cycle is finished, what you want to do is a second rinse cycle. The reason we do a second rinse cycle is to be sure the down and the feathers are really clean and there's no detergent left. It's pretty tough for the water to get through the uh, pillow cover there and uh, really clear out all the suds and soap 
So a second time through a rinse cycle is going to take care of that. Okay, our second rinse is done. Wow, that doesn't look like a pillow, does it? <laughs> now, this goes in the dryer. Yes, we can use a dryer on a feather and down pillow. So first we try to break up the clumps a little bit, right? And then we're gonna have to open this dryer several times and loosen this up as we go through this process. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this towel in with it. We need to have something in there to kind of help beat up the pillow and fluff it. Here's that uh, protector cover. Hey, it looks better. Eh, still have a stain on there, but at least it's a clean stain now. So. Now we want to set the dryer on our low heat. And I'm putting up my dryer control on very, very dry. Let's see how we're doing here. It's been about 10 minutes. All right, it's starting to lighten up. Just break up some of these little clumps of feathers in there. Now what's gonna happen is the outside is gonna feel you know, dry out here but the feathers inside aren't dry. It takes a little time. So that's why we have to kind of break up the feathers here and get, get them going. All right. Hey, look at that. Looks like a pillow again. Nice. It took a while. I mean, that took, what, four hours probably? And I had to, you know, shake it out and loosen up the feather clumps quite often during that period of time. But it worked great. There you go. It's so puffy. It's tight in the pillow protector now. Look at that. Totally rejuvenated. That's great.